Are you ready to see some cool futuristic stuff? Join me on this episode as we uncover how to properly leverage available 3D technology for everything from critical business functions, tours, all the way to marketing. I'm Devin Hers. Welcome to the DMC Marketing Nugget. Get ready to hear from industry titans, unveiling their most coveted marketing nuggets. Discover how they nail whales as they generously share confidential insights on their business marketing operations. And now, introducing the host of BMC Marketing Nugget, Devin Hurst. All right, my guest today is a 3D modeling wizard. He is the founder of Arrowstad. Welcome, Joe Faziola. Joe, great to have you here, man. Hey, it's a pleasure, Devin. Thanks very much for having me on. No problem. Uh, you know, Joe and I met, we were just talking about business and he was showing me some of his work and I was like, I got to have you on this episode. I got to have you on the nugget. Uh, we got to bring awareness to some of this work that you do in the 3D world. Uh, it's really about how we stay ahead and differentiate ourselves as business owners and marketers. So we're going to get into some cool things today. Uh, before we do so, let's uh, just give us a background, Joe, of how you got started in the 3D world and this line of work. Uh, sure. So um, actually, it was uh, during COVID, um, the company that I was working for had shut down. Uh, and my fledgling uh, drone services business uh, started picking up some new clients. And I had the opportunity with all the extra time in COVID to uh, learn some new things. So I started educating myself in photogrammetry um, and GIS. Uh, took some classes, uh, including a master's certificate program at uh, UC Davis online, and started adapting these technologies to my drone business. That's sort of how it started, how it goes together. Drones plus um, plus photogrammetry is, is a, a natural mix. So I started getting kind of good at it. Uh, and I spent a lot of time reading and learning and ended up writing a couple of white papers for Skydio and Reality Capture on how to design flight paths, how to design capture for photogrammetry. That's, uh, yeah, you're saying words that a lot of us don't even know about. So uh, <laughs> photogrammetry, um, I'm assuming is basically being able to what take photos and then turn those in. What is that? Explain that to us so we know when we're talking yeah, about this episode. What that's that essentially means. correct. Yeah, essentially correct. Uh, uh, photogrammetry is the science and art of combining photos to make a 3D space. So you're doing building inspections, roof inspections, um, 3D tours, things like that, where you could take photos or frames of video and make them 3D. That's that's crazy. So um, with this 3D technology, you know, how is this available to the average business owner? And I mean, it sounds like some interesting technologies. We'll get into some of the costs and things in the future here. But um, you know, what what type of 3D technology right now is available for the average business owner? It's actually it's the golden age of 3D right now. Recently, NVIDIA released some open source software that a lot of apps have adapted to their own uh, purposes. So you can get something like uh, LumaLabs.ai has an app, Polycam, um, the Reality Capture app, where you're taking your iPhone or Android in some cases, it'll guide you through capturing your space or your object, do all of the processing in the cloud, and then give you a 3D object. And it's it's amazing. A year ago, two years ago, uh, to do that with a phone was unthinkable. Um, it, it took okay. a lot of education and training to actually build uh, this type of uh, 3D model. But now uh, they call the technology NERF. Um, it's a, a neural radiance field, abbreviated NERF. Okay. And it's uh, an AI-based 3D modeling interpolation. Okay, so um, a so little bit different sort of the, than the NERF. Yeah, a little, 
I was gonna say a little different than the Nerf we used to play with as a kid. So, yes, um, yeah, yeah, a little bit different, and and it's it's great because this is super accessible to business, small business owners, where you could do a lot of this yourself. You don't necessarily need to hire somebody um, to come in, although hiring an expert um, is sure. often necessary for things that you know require drones or require specialized cameras. Of, of course, I mean, so you're telling me that right here, this little device. I can scan a cup, a, a video brochure, anything really, and turn that into a 3D asset. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, and a lot of the commercial That's... apps like Luma, you can then okay. you can extract the um, that object, that 3D scene uh, from a link and put it in your website as an iframe. That's awesome. Okay, so, so <laughs> we'll we'll sh we'll share some examples of that and and show you some of what we're talking about here. Um, this is the marketing nugget. We love marketing. We love all sorts of business, uh, but trying to figure out how does this three D technology work in the marketing space, and you know if you can tell us a little bit about how you've used this for marketing for some of the clients that you work with, and we can bring some stuff on uh, screen here in just a moment as well. Yeah, so this is as versatile as video or photos, if not more versatile for marketing purposes. You've got everything okay. from from AR apps where you could bring a piece of IKEA furniture into your living room to see what it actually looked like, um, okay. all the way to um, uh, showcasing homes or commercial spaces in an immersive way where a client could put on a VR headset and walk through a space as if they were there. Uh, it's incredible. So, so it's a great way to do tours and, and give uh, an idea of a space. Um, why don't we bring up the videos now and, and we can look at some of those. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll pull those up and few going on here. Um, I know the launch box. Why don't we talk about that one since that was used for what a collaborative workspace? Is that accurate? Yeah, that's correct. Launchbox is uh, a new co warehousing and co working space uh, coming here to Albany. It's not open yet. Um, should be open uh, sometime next month. And this client has model units set up like like what you're seeing here. And it's decorated. They've got the desk there. They've got the product boxes on the shelves and all that stuff. This space uh, can actually be inserted into a VR headset, or it could be put on their website as interactive. So instead of just being a, a video where you're seeing kind of this rotation or a 360 tour where you're stuck in spot looking around in a circle, you actually get to move through the space as if you were there. This technology hmm. also allows you to adapt the space itself and you can isolate different objects like the desk in the middle or the objects around on the walls and using a gaming engine like Unreal or Unity, you could very easily adapt um, this space just like sliding the things around. That's that's uh, truly amazing. I mean, uh, we've all seen the 3D tours. We've seen real estate tours. So this just gives a, a completely different dimension and the ability of whether it's a virtual headset, virtual tour to really, I mean, the detail is incredible. Um, now, I, I think you had mentioned in a story when we talked previously too that you were saying that you've even used this for like places that people can't get to, but they need to know exactly what's going on with a crack under maybe a bridge or some kind of engineering stuff. How, how are you using it for that right now too? Yeah, so uh, I have clients in uh, architecture, engineering, and construction. Uh, this is more um, the, the technical photogrammetry space where we use drones to capture photos um, and build a 3D model that is not, um, it's not as elegant uh, Nerf tends to be very elegant, shows the background. This is a, a beautiful, immersive video game type space. Uh, for the inspection photogrammetry, you isolate something in particular, say the facade of a building, and you build high resolution 3D models with the photos embedded so that you can click on a surface 
and then the actual photo from the drone pops up. So this allows mm -hmm. an architect to do a visual inspection of a facade or say the underside of a bridge where otherwise you're putting somebody um, dangling over the edge of the bridge and uh, right. or in like a snooper truck, um, like you see the DOT using, um, inspecting it visually. Um, this isn't a total replacement for inspection, obviously, because you do have to use additional tools like sounding or physically touching a surface, but it does help to triage um, critical infrastructure and facades and accounts for a lot of um, the visual inspection that's necessary. This is also something that you can do with thermal. So if you're using infrared drones where you can detect, um, uh, say, uh, leaking uh, envelope, right, where the envelope of the building is leaking heat, you're just dumping it out for some reason, or you have a commercial space where the roof has cold spots. Um, and that indicates typically that there's, uh, there's water trapped under um, a, a rubber roof. So you're able to build all of that into a 3D model as well. That's that's awesome. So I would say on the marketing side, I mean, just imagine for a, con a contractor, an architect, you're able to put people into a space. So even sending out a pair of what is the Oculus or now I guess the uh, Apple has their new glasses as well, right? So. <laughs> yeah some of these projects are millions and millions of dollars just you know so i'm thinking marketing side something like that shows up with your your oculus goggles and something like this preloaded that they can go to and literally walk around a new space i mean i was thinking about with yeah. back in the day we did some work for skanska a huge development company they used our video books to pitch their extension of the tampa airport and they use that as part of their pitch. I'm thinking, wow, now you can take that, put that into this 3D technology and actually have someone being able to walk around the space, walking through. Yep. We know homes aren't cheap these days. I mean, some of these houses are $10 million. So if you have a hot prospect that wants to see the home, why not, instead of them having to fly out there, send something overnight to them and they literally can walk through that house if you wanted them to with these, you know, this technology. So I think that's yep. amazing tours, being able to show off uh, college campuses, uh, some of the hospitals, um, you know, we have a hotel developer. I mean, this would be great for them to show this off to the potential investors of what they're building. So, you know, showing the actual space being built and once it's built, the tours through there. So a lot of marketing, um, you know, capabilities with this technology. It's just a matter of harnessing how can you use this for your business? Um, well, people are going to ask, okay, cool. That sounds fun. I'd love to do this, but it's going to be way too expensive for me. It's hard to integrate. Tell us a little bit more about the expense, how to invest, how it's you know easier than probably what most people think, right, Joe? It is. It definitely is. Um, the a lot of these apps are essentially free. Um, the they're they're usually free to download, um, and they'll give you a certain number of models that you can build per month at no cost. Um, other ones do have cost associated, and that's based on the, um, the amount of data that you're inputting usually. Um, so you get you know, 10 scans a month for $100 or something like that. Um, but they are they're pretty inexpensive. Um, where it becomes, where you start uh, getting cost for this is in the capture uh, primarily. Uh, so if it's something that you say you're a retailer right and you sell coffee mugs where you could okay. take a coffee mug you could put this um you could use a, a very a, an inexpensive light right like this you could put um your coffee mug in the middle of a table and you could walk around it with your iphone and a light make a beautiful model pop that on your website and it costs you nothing but your time um, when okay. you start getting into larger spaces, um, this is something that's actually being used quite a bit in virtual production, where you capture a very large space like a forest or um, a, a house, right, the outside of a house. And then this can be dropped behind um, actors on a virtual stage. So that okay. it starts to involve drones, it involves some uh, some cameras with larger sensors, it's harder to capture that with your phone. Uh, so 
that's when you're incurring more cost for having somebody experienced in capture like that come out and do it. Um, and at that point, you're, you're it's basically um, like a camera operator type fee as you'd sure. see in Hollywood, somewhere um, between like one and three thousand dollars per day for capture. Um, okay. And so uh, not and then not, not not crazy. Yeah, I mean that that's pretty no, affordable crazy. for most business owners. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, and then you have um, the the cost of integrating it. So again, your mug pop that into your website, no problem. Um, if you start to get into um, more complex, immersive spaces, taking it straight out of the app into a virtual reality headset doesn't really work, right? You've got a few steps in between um, and, and depending on the route that you wanna go, you're gonna end up having development costs for Unreal or Unity, um, and then the costs to build that app or, or game or whatever the environment is and then host it somewhere. Um, a lot of these can be viewed in um, WebGL or HTML5 on a website. So you could host it in your existing website as an additional page. Um, but it uh, that usually has, depending on the provider, will have some type of uh, subscription cost or uh, at least a, a setup fee and then pass off um, the subscription costs. On the architecture side, um, where you're talking the um, inspections, that really requires uh, obviously the professional drone pilot, someone who's licensed and insured right. like me, um, and then someone with the experience to build those models with a degree of accuracy. Um, so in a lot of places, okay. that's going to be um, a surveyor um, or someone who's partnered with a surveyor um, in order to, right. to make sure that the dimensionality is correct. Um, and then uh, they're able to scale and build these models um, for a uh, to, to much higher tolerances um, for the architect to be able to get in there, measure, view it, and, um, and get the true existing conditions of what's there. And that tends to be more expensive, ranging, um, you know, $2,500 to $5,000 um, per day. Um, however, comparing that to putting up scaffolding to dangling people off yeah. of buildings, um, you know, yes. to having, <laughs> closing a lane of the highway, it's much more affordable proposition to use drones and to use uh, professionals um, all over the country <laughs> um, to, right. to capture yeah. this data for you. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, I mean, cutting down on travel time. I mean, if someone can go get their drone footage that they need uh, in California and you're in New York, it's much easier to get that that information uh, transferred and, and put out to multiple people versus everyone having to be on site. So that's huge. Uh, so really, I mean, go out there and try some of these apps that Joe's mentioned on your phone, see how it works for yourself. Obviously more involved stuff. That's when you want to hit, hit Joe up um, at dynamic marketing consultants, our team, we're always trying to stay ahead of the curve, keep our finger on the pulse of what's going on. Uh, we're not getting any younger, but at the same time, I'm always trying to understand what the younger generations are wanting because there's a lot of times that clients need to be aware of, Hey, yeah, this worked five, 10 years ago, but it's not working right now. Uh, we need to appeal to the younger demographics. So why is it so important to implement 3D into some of your content to attract those younger demographics that you're going after? Well, it's interesting. I'm a millennial um, and um, a, I, I am really, really deeply involved in 3D. But until, until I started doing this as a job, I wasn't. Um, it, uh, yeah, 3d is cool. I play video games, but it really didn't have a major impact on my life. And I wouldn't have considered myself a 3d enthusiast. Um, and there's a, a, a poll conducted by, um, <clears throat> a friend's, uh, marketing magazine, um, where they do, uh, 3d marketing. Um, so they, their poll showed that 75% of millennials would consider themselves 3D enthusiasts. Wow. That's not too bad. That's huge. Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not too bad. Um, but it's it, that includes um, 
the way the polls ran, that, that includes games. So if you're a video gamer or you you are on Call of Duty or whatever, um, that's a 3D game. So you're you're a 3D enthusiast. Um, Gen Z steps that up to 90%. What? 90% of respondents said we are 3D enthusiasts. And then the um, rather limited data set that they were able to get for Gen Alpha said 96% consider themselves to be 3D enthusiasts, which is just, it's astonishing. It's absolutely astonishing. Yeah. Um, and uh, and and the there are major manufacturers who are picking up on this. Um, BMW, Audi, and Toyota have integrated 3D models of their vehicles online. Um, you can build, customize, and view a 3D model of your car and buy it right. without ever going there. Um, and that's actually how a lot of, um, that's how sales are, are, are starting, um, for, for Gen Z's, um, is, is you're test driving a car and then you're ordering whatever customized one that you build on the website. Um, and it's, it's incredible because it's not like it used to be where they would, you have like a, um, like an Xbox version of the car is popped right. up on the website and you're like okay yeah this is a car but yeah they're a little animated they're, looking right right it's a little animated look using using the um the neural radiance fields using this ai they are taking scans of the actual cars and they are breathtaking it's so awesome um to see these cars and to be able to put on an apple vision pro and be in the car um, and and customize it and color it and change the interior and make that your car and buy it online. That, that's uh, yeah, definitely diff different way of, of thinking and the different way that us business owners out there and marketers, entrepreneurs need to be thinking about these things because how can you tie this into your business? How is this something that you can benefit from? Again, the expense, the investment, uh, people are dropping that kind of stuff on a video every you know, all the time and spending tons of money on pay-per-click and, and advertising on social. So being able to get something that's a video, yes, it can be played online, but also putting it in their hands through a video book, through your, your 3D virtual glasses nowadays. I mean, there's some really cool opportunities there out there to appeal to the demographics that you're going after. And I think as more yep. of this comes forward, the older demographic is going to follow suit too. We're going to be more and more into the 3D and doing tours and checking out the BMWs and trying to jump in one and drive it. So uh, I think it's, it's really awesome. And now you've been uh, kind enough to give away a, a free, no obligation, 30 minute consult to our listeners. Uh, I believe on that call, you're going to help them identify some 3D opportunities in their business. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. And uh, we've got your contact information up on screen if anyone wants to take advantage of that. Yeah, so um, uh, part of my business is is consulting with other businesses on how they're going to integrate these technologies um, and the ways to do it, the apps to use, the equipment to use. Um, and uh, so that consultation for your business is now free. Um, and, and I'll help you, re regardless of what your business is, I'll help you figure out what it is that you need to do and whether or not you can do that yourself or should hire um, you know, a local contractor. Um, I have contacts all over the world actually um, who do this type of thing. Um, so I could uh, do it myself or uh, put you in contact with the right people to do it for you. Yeah, as you guys can see, Joe's an awesome person. So it, it's not where he's gonna be hard selling you on these calls. He's gonna be giving you free advice and uh, information on how you can take this technology and really help it elevate your business out there. So reach out to Joe. Um, I believe you also have the, the website. We'll throw that in the description. Um, yeah. uh, so that way people can click on that to schedule with you at your aristod.com forward slash free consultation. Yeah. So we'll get that in the description out there as well. Um, anything else that you'd like our listeners to know or different ways to connect with you? Um, the best way to reach out to me is through email um joe at aerostad.com i was on the bottom of the screen there um the uh i spend so much time in studios and um 
like actively scanning, um, that my phone is always quiet. <laughs> uh, so it's it's pretty unlikely <laughs> that you're going to get me on the phone. Um, but sending me an email or you can send a text to that phone number um, will uh, will get you a, a much better response. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, thanks for delivering the nuggets. Uh, we're always looking to bring these new technologies to the forefront, let people know about them. And I would say Joe is uh, definitely the guy to help you when it comes to these 3D renderings. So if you're a current client of ours, feel free to reach out to us and we'll connect you with Joe as well and figure out how this technology can go into your marketing strategy throughout the year and the upcoming months. So uh, really appreciate you joining us, sharing some of this uh, great technology with us and our audience, Joe. It's been, it's been wonderful. Thank you for spreading the word. Appreciate it. You got it. All right. Well, that's a wrap of another great DMC marketing nugget. Go ahead and hit that like and follow button. Listen on your favorite streaming apps, podcast apps out there, or visit DMC Marketing Nugget to watch all of our past shows. Here's to your success. Mm -hmm.